There are so many born Muslims who are not really practicing every aspect of Islam. Slowly but surely they will come. One thing at a time, sometimes a little bit more. Sometimes something happens in your life that makes you change a lot of things overnight. Alhamdulillah. So if we can acknowledge that they are born Muslims in that scenario, what about those who, who have reverted to Islam and they are slowly but surely coming in and everyone says, but sister, that's haram. But you know, you try to post something. I remember a sister recently and I have a habit sometimes when I come across something, I comment. Sometimes when I come across something, I comment. I do online. Sometimes you have to. And people say, why were you watching the sister? And I'm like, I wasn't. It was actually just passing on my FYP and I heard something very interesting and I felt that I could respectfully acknowledge and encourage. So I did so. What's the big deal? Why were you following that I was following the sister? That's a question, right? If it was wrong for me, it's even wrong for you. But it's social media. It's a real world out there. I'm not saying we're living in an ideal world. In an ideal world, things would have been very different. But we're living the real world. A lot of times, a word of encouragement from a person we look up to would reassure us to a degree that we've never been reassured before. Is that not true? So I commented. And this sister was a revert. Going down, reading some of the comments there, people are saying, I think you're lying about your shahada. You're not doing this. Your, your lipstick is this. And you're, what are you commenting about? What are you watching? What are you thinking? The person declared their shahada. You want them to become a nun? Is that what it is? The guys declared his shahada. You want him to be the imam of Masjid al-Haram overnight? They're going to struggle for a while. They don't know how to read Quran. They may not be able to practice certain things because of their circumstances. Or they might just be weak. I'm going to do things, but give me some time. So I'm here to tell you, you know what's right and wrong. Slowly but surely, inshallah, you move at your pace. Keep it a good pace. Don't go backwards. We're all moving at our paces. Don't let anyone overwhelm you because they're going to tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that. As, as you're running to do this, someone's going to say, you need to do that. And, as, and guess what happens? When you end up doing it, you're going to get another wise crack telling you that, well, that's not good enough. You know, you're going to now need to do this and that. That's not right. Come on. Forget about the negative comments of the people. You be strong, steadfast, thank Allah for your faith. And inshallah, slowly but surely you can go ahead by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.